thank you to all the uh, fellow panelists you know and uh, aisa for having me here and it's a great opportunity and uh, i hope everybody at home or at work is they're all doing well during the covid times so just wanted to reach out to everyone for safety i'm not going to take much time with the presentation uh, the way i have distributed the presentation is first i'm going to be talking about the global scenario and then i'll be moving into indian side and then bring in bringing it down to what we are doing in a fire power group so right so in the uh, global scenario of ev adoption what in the past 3 to 5 years we are noticing as you can see in the uh, in the graph that uh, over the years there has been an exp uh, exponential growth and shift and transition into the electric vehicle markets you know we are seeing the two wheeler three wheeler space also booming up a lot as mentioned by the previous panelists that uh, there has been an 81% contribution of the you know two wheeler three wheeler segment itself into the uh, market of electric vehicles that's it's a significant uh, contribution and over the last couple of years we are seeing that uh, there are a lot of affordable as well as premium range of luxury cars in the four wheeler segment which are rolling out whether it's the Porsche Taycan or it's the hyper it's any hypercar or even Polestar as a matter of uh, as a matter of fact so uh, we are seeing a major major transition coming into the electric vehicle segment and specifically in india also we are seeing the transition happen much more quickly and we are seeing the transition happen in the electric vehicle buses segment as well as the truck segment also i'm going to be elaborating that in the next few slides a little bit more sorry right so on the global availability of ev charger front uh, you know what i'm trying to portray here is that out of the 7.3 million chargers that were deployed across the world 6.5 million that's roughly around 18 uh, roughly around 89% of the chargers that were installed across the world were into the home segment right so there are different countries taking different strategical approach whether they want to first invest into the uh, you know uh, the public charging infra or they want to straight away move on to the home charging infra so for example uh, in china there has been a major major focus on the public infra first and in whereas in the other countries like usa norway and sweden the contribution of the home charging segment has been very very high so it's relatively for uh, different in different countries as per the government strategy so what we are noticing in the uh, indian ev sector also is that first the the government and the entire sector is trying to get rid of the consumer anxiety of range by providing them all the charging infra network across the across the country at different points of uh, you know the highway and the intrastate intercity points and then slowly and steadily moving it on to the home charging network uh, space so the indian ev sector market has been you know very very uh, it's been growing exponentially but however right now uh, the 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 sector contributes only 1% like the ev sector contributes only 1% of the total uh, vehicle sales so currently the shift is happening but still the uh, market is majorly on ice vehicles and uh, to support that to support the faster adoption the government uh, central as well as the state government has rolled out a lot of lot of tariff plans and uh, you know a uh, lot of policies that have come out so for example in the chart you can see that there are different states mentioned across here and the different policies that have come out we are seeing in india that punjab maharashtra up tamil nadu telangana karnataka and madhya pradesh have majorly shifted and changed all the policies and provided all the subsidies to the consumer to make the shift possible very very quickly and we are seeing the rise of sales of electric vehicles in these sectors uh, in these uh, states pretty fast and whereas in the other states uh, there 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 is a bit of uh, bit of lag which i will cover in the next uh, slide which i am going to talk about furthermore in the uh, charging infra the tariff is also very different across the different uh, you know states within india we're seeing that the the range is going from you know 4 rupees per kwh right up to 7 rupees per kwh and majorly we're seeing delhi chandigarh uh, uh punjab maharashtra providing the uh, you know good sort of bracket of uh, you know uh, cost for charging for the consumers and whereas uh, there are certain states for example there is a state with 7.7 
rupees per kW uh, charging cost, uh, which is currently lacking behind. So you can see UP, uh, Uttar Pradesh, which is a very, very big state in India, is taking its time to enter into that segment and providing the consumer the benefit of electric vehicle charging space. So we're seeing this different adoption and uh, different tariff rates across the country. Whereas the second graph uh, here depicts the different uh, cars that have been uh, rolled out on the Indian uh, roads and the category that they're lying with, uh, lying in. So we have Chadamo, CCS and GBT and GBT is specifically to India up to 25 kilowatts. So each of the colors corresponds to the, uh, you know, uh, the car model that has come out. So it puts a great, uh, you know, uh, scope of work on the government also and to companies like us also to partner up with the OEMs, to partner up with the infra providers to give and provide all of these uh, solutions to uh, different car companies that are coming out with their different connectors. So uh, on the front of the growth in the market, uh, these numbers are uh, you know, coming in from uh, the reports that have been rolled out and it's expected to grow at a rate of 44% uh, per annum. And uh, we are expecting that if the the transition happens the way it's happening. Uh, so there might be a tipping point wherein this number will surpass quite quickly. So uh, in the current market space, as mentioned earlier, also 75% 75 of the battery is coming, uh, sales is coming from the two-wheeler and three-wheeler front. And as per the recent data that we got from ICAT and ARI, the, the new models that are being tested for approvals those of uh, those of the people who don't know what is a ICAT and ARI, they're the testing bodies in India which approve the cars and the individual components. So we're seeing that 50 to 70 percent of the models are being tested with lithium-ion batteries, and which is a very very good sign that the Indian industry is greatly adopting to the shift, and the consumers are also getting pretty excited about it. So if you have to categorize the segment into uh, uh, the EV seg uh, the EV battery segment, they're majorly two-wheeler, three-wheelers. Then there's a four-wheeler and heavy-duty vehicles. Uh, all the, uh, I would say, the 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 air that has to be provided to a jet engine to the, uh, you know, that has been provided by the government and different state and central governments that, is, that are involved. And the private investors are also speeding up their investments in India with respect to uh, setting up the charging infra and providing the uh, batteries at a much more affordable rates. To people so all of those conditions have been made very lucrative and hence we are seeing a greater shift happening in all four segments and i'm proud to say that uh, for the entire industry uh two wheeler three wheeler might be a major contributor but in okaya we are working very aggressively to work on heavy duty uh, vehicles also we've partnered up with a lot of oems which i want to share in the next uh, slide so uh, in Okaya, what is our vision? I'm going to talk about briefly for two minutes. Uh, that is to be the largest and the most prompt manufacturer and service provider, respectively, of EV charger and EV battery across India, thereby enabling people to transition hassle-free into the greener tomorrow. So we are inherent, inherently a lead acid battery company who's making the transition very, very quickly in the last three years to a lithium-ion front. And we also carry the, uh, it's, a, it's a group company which as a revenue of around 750 million dollars and we are shifting very very aggressively into the electric vehicle front uh, we have an in-house uh, r&d of roughly uh, five r&d spaces across the world uh, majorly dominated in india and uh, we are fully manufacturing all the electronic components here in india so what are the key drivers that we as a company are focusing on since we, um, we are the largest supplier of uh, and uh, of electronics inverters and ups so we want to take that leverage and build all the electronic ecosystem for batteries and EV chargers in India. And so far, we have been quite successful in doing that. So with the Made in India approach for electronics, uh, we have indigenized the BMS, we have indigenized the displays, we have uh, indigenized charging also. Much of the work in the last two years uh, with the constant demand going up as well. Um, so other than this, uh, as we were talking about having a retail uh, market is a very, very good uh, opportunity and it's a, it's a very good thing for a manufacturer so that we can keep the production costs at the lower side. So we're trying to utilize all of those capabilities to build a retail market for battery as well as for the uh, lithium ion based solution, uh, solutions for the tier two and three, uh, tier three uh, segment products. 
over and above we have partnered up with two OEMs in the automotive space to provide them you know with the home charging uh, chargers I mean, I'm, I cannot disclose the name as of now, but it will be soon out. But uh, with every car that you buy from them, we'll be providing uh, the charger inst installation as well as servicing across India anytime within 24 hours. It doesn't matter if you're in north, south, east or west, we'll be there within 24 hours. Apart from this, the portfolio has been expanding a lot and we have supplied more than 247 megawatt hour of battery packs in the mobility front in the last year itself. We have got orders in hand from the mobility segment of roughly 55.27 megawatt hour of battery packs, specifically in the L3 and L5 category. So we are seeing the delivery fleet and we are seeing a lot of big companies and government PSUs coming out with uh, vehicles to help in the transition. So we've been able to crack those market and partner up and secure some big orders, which we have to supply by this financial year. Uh, this is just a glimpse of the swapping station that we've deployed across Delhi. Um, around five of these have been deployed and we have supplied numerous uh, swappable battery packs with our IoT, IoT solution to you know, give the consumer a real feel of the battery and how the battery is performing. And uh, on the front of EV chargers, uh, it is a very interesting journey for us for the last three years right from the R&D stage to development and deployment, we have supplied around 503 chargers, the big ones, DC001 and 142 kilowatt chargers. And we have secured orders from PSU segment for around 7,000 chargers uh, and uh, of all these below configuration. So we're going, we are uh, right now probably number second in the race, but uh, in the next six months, we'll be number one with the deployments that we are targeting. And since the orders are already with us from the PSU segment. In the development phase, we are also targeting to partner up with the four-wheeler uh, OEMs, uh, specifically in the Indian market, so that we can you know, have a JV and then try to figure out how we can reduce the costs and provide services to the customer. That's where our real uh, forte is, that is providing service to the customer. Just a brief snapshot of how these charges have been deployed in India. So these are majorly, majorly across Delhi, Noida, Bangalore, Ahmedabad, Hyderabad, uh, Kozi Kode and Shillong in Jaipur and we're covering pretty much the entire uh, pan, uh, span of India. In the last couple of months uh, we've been uh, partnering up with a lot of OEMs and real estate developers as well. So uh, to begin with uh, the the fleet operator, India's largest fleet operator, we've partnered up with them for deployment of electric vehicle supply equipment as well as the second largest one as well. Uh, we've also partnered up with real estate uh, developers like M3M and ATS to deploy and install and commission 6,000 EV charges in the next one and a half years with them. That's just a snapshot of that. And with that, I'll bring the rest to my presentation. Uh, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much, Anshul Gupta, for that presentation about Akaya and uh, how it has evolved in the e India EV market and the key projects that you're involved in. So uh, we can open the pound to questions. So do we have any questions from the audience? So this is a question that I would like to open to all the panelists. How long uh, can we see this impact in the uh, EV sector, in the various EV sector in, from EV deployment, uh, public charging infrastructure deployment? So we now saw the DHI tender released and uh, it is for more than uh, 6,000 charges. So by when can we see the actual deployment happening from the public charging infrastructure segment? When would such uh, projects pick up after the delay from, with, uh, from the COVID-19 impact? Thank you. Uh, so I would like to bring out that uh, since we've got around uh, 5,000 charges orders from PSUs as of now, as of yesterday, so the timeline that we've been given is within nine months, we have to install major of these uh, charges across India. So we are seeing a very, very aggressive push from the government. So uh, give or take, I think nine months to 12 months would be something that uh, we're going to see a massive, massive transition happening in the infra space uh, from WESL as well as from REIL. So we have won both of those tenders. So we're expecting that uh, within nine to 12 months, there'll be uh, pretty much all those char big charges will be installed across India. So that's from, that's from my side. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you.